What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Zach Waters and thank you very much for joining me in today's video. Today's video is going to be pretty different to what I would typically upload. Today I'm going to be talking about photography very briefly. Um, I have a question from a user of Twitter who wishes to remain anonymous, um, so I will gladly not mention your name. Should I reach out to the members of the band to photograph them? If not, why? Now this question gets asked probably a whole lot and I've asked myself this a whole lot. I've been doing photography about two years now. I continuously ask myself this all the time. No, I don't think you should reach out to the band members unless you know them personally or even if you're friends with them on Facebook or stuff like that um, and follow the band, maybe. Maybe. If you're starting out, it doesn't hurt to try. The way that I would do it is get in touch with their label or their manager. There's a couple reasons. Um, the first one is the man may not really see the message if they don't answer it. If you send it on Facebook or something like Messenger, it doesn't seem very professional. It kind of just seems like you're not trying very hard, you know? You're not really passionate about this. And the same thing goes for Instagram or Twitter. Don't don't use it, don't message them. Nine times out of 10, they may not see it and it may just come off as unprofessional, you know? So what I do recommend and what I do 99% of the time is I do some research on the band. If I really, really want to photograph them, I will see what venue they're playing at, I will see what label they're on and I will see who their manager is if you can find that information. If they're playing at a particular venue and send them a message saying that you want to photograph the band on this particular day at your venue and click send. Just keep in mind that 95% of the venues already have an in-house photographer, someone who already works there and will be photographing for the venue. If they turn you down and say, hey, sorry, we already have a photographer, blah, blah, blah. The next thing is to try and find the manager of the band and send them an email. I always try to find emails, email um, addresses. You know, you don't want to, you want to get rid of Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You want to get rid of that. You want to try and find email addresses or even maybe phone numbers. I haven't tried that, but it could work. So I do all my work and contacting via email. Um, it just comes off more professional. Um, I don't know. It just seems better. And a lot of the time they also may have a photographer but they can also put you down as a photographer for a certain publication and therefore getting put on the guest list so you can come in um, to photograph. That doesn't always happen. Sometimes you do have to also purchase a ticket, but you're also welcome to go and take some photos. That's really all I can say on the matter. That's how it's worked for me most of the time, either by reaching out to the venue. That is how I've been doing a lot of work here in Toowoomba. In saying that, at least another 60% or fucking whatever of my opportunities have come from contacting the management um, or whoever's in charge. I will just tell you guys this now. If you guys go ahead and email someone about photo photographing someone, be professional. Don't be bland. Don't be boring. Try and sell yourself. Kind of think of it as a job interview. You don't want to go and say, hi, I was wondering if I can photo these people here and there, blah, blah, blah. They're going to ask you who you're photographing for. They're going to ask you if you can send them photos they may have some requirements so the way I had gone about it um, when I was first starting is I used my phone went on Facebook pages when I got my camera started taking photos and made a page and that's essentially my outlet my media outlet is bare media photography the link will be down in the description go find it on Instagram and Facebook give it a follow give it a like um, that would be great thank you because most of the time they're not gonna they're not gonna let someone in who is just wanting to take photos so the way to start off this email would be like hi name simple and I'm reaching out to you on behalf of my personal publication in regards to whoever's show at the blah 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 venue on the blah 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 date of the blah 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 whatever year I was wondering if I'd be able to come down and photograph the artist um, during their show and if you're first starting out this will be a good little push as well a good little boost I'm, I'm willing to share my photos on spec or for free if you guys wish to use them for whatever use they want to use it for although you're taking photos for yourself and your little publication they can also use them if they wish so you're also providing content for them and also it never hurts to add your own little watermark your own little logo in the corners of the photos you don't want to make it too big you don't want to make it too small you want to make it pretty pretty reasonably sized so people can see it you know and then it's just a matter of waiting to see if they reply if they have any further questions just 
Just do it. Act professional. Proper words. Don't talk in text language. You know, 90% of the time it's going to work out. But what I really recommend doing first is reaching out to the venue. If they say yes, disregard everything else I've said in this video. However, if they decline and say no, then move on to the manager. And once you've done that, it's like I said, a matter of waiting to see if they reply um, and then replying accordingly. If they reply, don't hassle them. Just send the one email, all right? Because they're probably very busy. They're probably very busy. So I kind of hope this answered your question. I thought I'd do it in a video form um, to keep it more personal so I can not spend 10,000 years typing a text. If you guys have any further questions of anything about photography, leave it down in the comment section down below. And with all that said, I'll see everyone in the next video. All right, ciao.